Okay, today I'm going to make um, some crepes and my favourite thing to have on crepes is lemon and sugar but I'm going to do a molecular gastronomy experiment where I make um, like bubbles of lemon juice. So I bought this kit online and I actually got it for my birthday but you can get it online and you can get replacement um, packages um, when you run out but this is calcium lactate and for to do this experiment you need half a teaspoon of calcium lactate and you need a quarter of a cup of water and you need a quarter of a cup of lemon juice and that has to be completely dissolved now, when, when I got this kit, I was so excited because I love molecular gastronomy, especially because my favourite chef, Heston Blumenfeld, uses this all the time. And with the kit, you can make, you can do gelification, you can do spheres, you can do foams, you can do a wide range of stuff. But today I'm going to do the thing that's called surprise bubbles. Now, what you do once it's all dissolved, is to put it back into your jug I'm hoping that's completely dissolved this is the first time I've done it and then I'm just going to put it in my little moulds and I'm on the video that they show they've actually got round moulds so I'm hoping that this will be okay and then that goes in the freezer until they're completely frozen okay now that it's in there and it's fairly well dissolved I'm actually going to just put it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. Okay, so this is the sodium uh, alginate solution, which is the sodium alginate solution is basically calcium salts and brown algae. I'm just going to add in my lemon ravioles, or hopefully they will turn into ravioles. that I prepared earlier and I actually need to, to sit in this solution just for a little while So these bits are just ice, just to cool the water down, and the, the heart-shaped ones are the actual ravioles. Okay, so get my little ravioles, and then just need to go into a water bath. And they've retained the love heart shape, which is nice. And they just rinse off in there. And then, then I'm going to put them into some coloured water baths. So I've got blue. They need to go in the ca the, in the coloured water baths for actually five minutes, just to sort of soak up some of that colour. And then when they've been in there for five minutes, I'll take them out on the spoon and pop them onto the paper towel to dry them before I put them on my plate. Okay, so I make it, I've made crepes today and I want to do like a lemon and sugar sort of a taste, but I'm going to do these honey caviar balls. So I've added half the ingredients that are that the recipe said on the molecular are um, 
package because I don't want a massive amount but I've got about 40 mils of water and about a quarter of a cup of honey and I'm just going to add that with half a sachet of agar agar which is like a tool that you can use um, molecular R puts out and it's actually made from red algae so it's used for gelification, spherification, even making like jellied spaghetti and things like that. So I just need that, whoops, I just need that to actually bring to the boil and that actually is not quite hot yet but it will be. I just need that to come to the boil. I'm just going to stir it quite a bit because I don't actually want anything to stick to the bottom. Okay. Okay, so I just need to pick up some of the honey into the honey mixture in a syringe. It's actually pretty sticky. Okay. Right. And then I just put droplets into this vegetable oil which has actually been in the, in the um, freezer for about half an hour. Okay, so they've all been dropped into the vegetable oil solution and they're all just sitting on the bottom like little caviar pearls. Once they've sat in the water for a little while, you can, they're all separate, and take them out. They're actually quite, quite difficult to get out. And then you can sort of put them on some paper towel to blot them, but they do really look like caviar. And that's honey, little honey balls. So that's the result honey caviar balls. Okay, the other thing that I'm going to add to my crepes is a lemon foam. And I'm using soy lecithin for this. Soy lecithin is a natural emulsifier extracted from soybeans. And um, it's mainly used to create the foams or like airs. Okay, and then I've got a third of a cup of water, oh, sorry, two thirds of a cup of water and two thirds of a cup of lemon juice. And I'm just going to blend that until it's a foam. This would be a beautiful champagne foam if you did this with champagne. It would be lovely to put on some fish or something like that, but today I'm going to put it on crepes. So 
So I've got my rolled crepe here and I'm going to add my surprise bubbles. Now if you wanted to, you could probably do these all in ye like yellow because that would be showing that it's lemon. It's completely up to you, but I like them in the different colours. Then I've got my honey caviar balls. I just love these. And then last but not least, my lemon cloud or my foam. Just gonna add that lemon to it. And voila, that is crepes with lemon and sugar with a bit of a twist. Okay, this is what happens when you just cut open the lemon bubbles. They're actually lemon juice inside. So that would be lovely on your crepe. Okay, thank you for watching.